Hey everybody, I'm Mike Wolford and you're watching Quick Bites on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. What's a Quick Bite? It's a meal that you can make under 10-15 minutes that's full of flavor. Today we're doing a quesadilla, but it's not just your mom's quesadilla. We're going to add a little bit of flavor to it. So we're going to start with an onion. I like the Walla Walla sweet type onions because they just add a lot of extra flavor. I enjoy that. I love onions. I could eat onions just as they are. I'm going to shave them thin. Put that off to the side. I'm going to take a green bell pepper. Kind of the same thing. Shave it thin. And I don't need a whole heck of a lot of it, but I am looking for a little, little color in this. Just kind of cut it up a little bit. And I'm gonna add a red bell pepper to it as well. That's really gonna give us some color. Shave it thin. Listen to the dogs bark while we're doing it. It's always fun. All right. That looks perfect. I'm going to take some butter and put it down here on the grill. We'll take and cut up our onions while we're waiting for that. And it's just kind of all going to go right down into here. This is probably going to be the longest part of, the, of this. This is probably enough for two or three of what we're trying to do. You could add some steak to it. That would be really cool too. That would be awesome actually. But in this case, we're not. We're going to cook these till the onions are translucent. I am going to add a little salt and pepper to it. Not a whole heck of a lot, because the cheese that we're going to use already has salt in it. So we're going to let this sit for about five minutes, and then we're going to finish this up. So at this point, I'm just going to put a little bit of butter on the outside. Not a heck of a lot. Put it on here under the griddle. Let's put our cheese on one side. Take some of this, throw it in. Probably a little too much, but you know what? It's all about flavor here. Let this melt down, and then we're going to flip it so we get a little bit of brown on the other side as well. And it gives it time for the cheese to melt too. I'm starting to flip this one. See how we're getting the brown on there? I'm getting some meltage in there, but not quite enough. Let's flip this one. Getting some brown on there, not quite enough yet, that what we want. This one is damn near done because you can hear that. It's good stuff right there. All right, I think this one's done. Take it off. Let's let this one finish up. These things don't take very long. Let's move it back here because it seems to be a little hotter back here. There we go, that's the brown we're looking for. I'm 
gonna turn the Cuisinart off because we're only making two this time, but it won't take long. Okay. All right, I think we're done. It's time to cut into this. I'm just gonna do this into thirds. The same with this one. Here's some good looking, those look really good. Super fast too. Mmm. That's just a cheese one. That's full flavor. Let's try our other one with the onions and the peppers. Mmm. So full flavor. I like Tabasco on mine. So I'm going to try it with bull. Just a drop. Mm. Really good, guys. Really good. If you're in a pinch and want something quick, I would definitely recommend these. Ton of flavor. All right, guys, there you have it. We made quesadillas in under eight minutes. That's quick bites for you on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, comment, share. We really appreciate it. You're watching Quick Bites on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. And remember, the dude abides this time with a quesadilla. Talk to you later, guys.